if you've got a 360 camera, then you've got a fantastic opportunity to do two things. One, take 360 photographs, and two, take a 360 video. Now, you're gonna work with either photographs and or video quite differently. So I'm gonna show you how to be successful with a 360 video. Hopefully by now you've already had a go at using 360 photographs and in other how-to videos, I've gone into quite a bit of detail on how to be successful with those photos. So in this video, we're gonna look at video and what you can do. So I've got my camera plugged in to my laptop, just like any other USB device. And you can see on the left here that it's called the Ricoh Theta V or five. That's the camera that's in our stem.t4l kit. So when you plug it in with the USB cable, it charges and it also lets me see what's in the camera. So I'm just gonna double click on the folder and navigate to where all the files are. So if you haven't seen this before, let's first of all have a look at what these files look like so you know what to expect when you're doing this. Across the top here, they're mostly photographs. You can see it's just like a JPEG, like every other JPEG. And if you've already done work with these photos, then you already understand what they look like. The shape of them, if you've never seen them before, when you just load them up normally like this in the computer, they look a bit distorted, especially along the bottom. You can see there's all these distortions where this particular person is holding the camera and they've just pressed the button on the camera itself rather than using the remote control app. And we've got this gigantic hand along the bottom here. Um, and right along in the side here, we can see where the sun is flaring. There's a line um, and in one of our video, in one of our expert tips video, we talk about making sure that the side of the camera is always facing the sun uh, rather than one of the lenses, and then you won't get this cut off. Okay, so this shape uh, or the effect here is called equirectangular, um, and that was first invented about 100 AD. The concept of taking something spherical and laying it out flat. All right. And of course, here we have a video file. So I can tell on my computer that's a video file because it's got those um, little film things on the side. And also the file extension is .mp4. So I can tell that is a video file and it looks a little bit unusual in the thumbnail. So let's double click uh, on this thumbnail and have a look at what the video looks like. So there's two discs there. Well, imagine that this is um, two halves of a tennis ball, for example, because the 360 camera that I'm using, the Ricoh Theta, has got two lenses. And the video on those two lenses is recorded separately and then put together in um, two squares to make a rectangle. Our job now is to take these two uh, round discs of video and stitch them together. So imagine a tennis ball that's been cut in half. We need to now glue that tennis ball back together so it's a sphere once again. So you need to download an app to do that. So let's do that. Uh, we're gonna go to the Theta, the Rico Theta download page. Two ways that you can do this. Uh, you can either go to the download page on the support site for, uh, so it's support.theta360.com slash en for English and slash download. So you can uh, use the movie converter app here. There's a Mac version and a Windows and hit that download button. So you can either, either get the app from there or if you are part of the New South Wales Department of Education, uh, you'll have access to the stem.t4l learning library. Okay, and in the learning library, I've collected some resources to help you. So um, the, there's a board that I've, where I've collected all my resources called 360 Video and Photos with Situ. So this board, I'll tell you what board number it is so you can uh, really easily and quickly find it. But this is the board where I've kept all the bits and pieces that will help you. So if I click share, you'll see that it's board number 382, 
okay? So when you go to the learning library, just in your search field, just type 382 and you'll see this board. In this board, you'll find the um, primary school and the secondary school sign up process for the app Situ, which I'll show you a little bit later on. And you'll also find uh, some sample 360 images. Uh, there's a 360 video by one of our environmental education teachers who went to Antarctica, did some exploring down there, and he took uh, uh, one of the cameras and shot some video. Um, and down here is the 360 video stitching software for Windows 10. So that link will automatically download that software to your computer. All right, so that's the second way that you can get the software. So either go to the support site for the Theta camera or come to board 382 in the learning library and look for the stitching software. So that's what it's called when you stitch those two halves, uh, when you stitch them together. Okay, so let's stitch these three, let's stitch some of these videos together, shall we? Uh, I've installed the app, and so when I double click the app, it's pretty unintimidating. So it's a fairly straightforward process. The instructions are right there drag and drop the spherical image. Um, so I'm going to drag it out of the um, folder on my computer where I copied it and drop it onto the Theta app. And it says, well, that's the input file with the input location. And then it says, this is going to become the new file. So there's the output location. You may wish to change the output location or the name of the file. Um, so click, so click select and go. Uh, I'm going to give it a new name, something obvious for me to remember. Uh, let's call it new file. That's exciting. There we go. Hit save and hit the start button. So now it's going to um, stitch those two halves and put them back together so that it's an actual sphere. And depending on how big the file is, uh, will determine how long it will take. My recommendation is that when you're shooting 360 video, stick to something under a minute, okay? Individual clips. So uh, start and stop recording so that each clip is under a minute. Otherwise, it's gonna take far too long. Okay, the stitching process has now finished and the app has automatically uh, started playing the video. So if I grab this video, I can, just like the photographs, drag it all around to get a full view of what that class did that day. <laughs> So now I've got the file stitched and behaving like a 360 video file should. Uh, I've got it saved. Remember, I just saved it back into that same folder um, and I just called it new file. So uh, there it is, it's called new file. Let's upload that now into Situ because right now I don't have a way to share this because Office 365 still does not know how to handle 360 video. So I'm going to go to my Situ account. So app.situ360.com. So every school that has one of our kits also has access to this software. And this is a great way to share and annotate and mark up your 360 video projects. I'm gonna upload a background image or video. Click the upload button. And I can drag my file into that space. So. I'm going to drag the new file into that and let it upload into Situ. Let's rename it the beach. If I had more 360 video scenes, I could of course add more scenes. So let's open that location. Okay, my scene is open and I present, I'm presented with a beautiful landscape uh, section of the video uh, that I can, um, with all 360 content, scroll around and have a look. Within the Situ platform itself is a whole bunch of tools and annotations that I could then add 
extra information into this video, but that is for a different time. So what happens if you don't stitch the video? Um, what does it look like in situ? Well, let's test it out. I'm gonna go back into um, the Environmental Education Center and upload a video that we didn't stitch. All right, so you can see the difference there between a video that is stitched and one that isn't stitched. Uh, of course, here we still have those two round discs. And if I press play, then... So you have a look at the camera, you're just shooting up in the sky. No, it just is plenty of time to So hopefully now you know how to be more successful now with stitching your 360 video before sharing it and annotating it in situ. Of course, like with all stem.t4l activities, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact us either through Facebook, Yammer, Twitter, or just on email, stemt4l at det.